Okay, great scholars, let us consider variance today. Variance. Variance. Variance is also called the mean squared deviation. Variance is also called mean squared deviation. Mean squared deviation. So, so, that, so that in your textbooks, you see it written, written as M D. That is mean squared deviation. It's also called the variance. Mean squared deviation. Now, how do we get or calculate our mean squared deviation? In the previous class, we treated how to calculate our range, interquartile range, and also our deviation. How to calculate deviations? You've been taught that in the previous class. I said in that class, the first thing you do if you're calculating your deviation for range is simple. The difference between the highest and the lowest value or number for interquartile range, simplify the half of the range, you get your answer. Then for deviation, I said, find the mean. If you have your mean value, subtract the mean value from each of the data or the value in the distribution given to you. If you have that, that is your deviation. And I said, if your, your question only stops at deviation, you can actually get the modulus of your deviation. You can get the modulus of your deviation, which is the positivity of that number. So today we want to look at the steps to consider when calculating your variance. The first step to consider is that you must get your deviation first. You must find your deviation. You must find your deviation steps. To consider one, find the deviation. And you know that to find deviation, you must first find your mean. That you know. Then if you've got your deviation, then find the sum. Find the sum. Find the sum or find the square. Find the deviation. Find the, sorry. Find the square of the deviation. Find the square of a division before the sum. Find the squares. The square of division, that is d square. If you have it, then the third step, find the sum of the squared division. That is, find the sum of the squared division. Then the first step is you can now calculate your variance. Your variance is simply that over that. Summation of the square deviation over the number you have in the given distribution. We're going to deal with that right away. We're going to deal with that now with the given problem. Let's consider this problem given to us. Let's consider this example. You have Four, five, seven, and uh, four. Okay, is it find? Calculate the variance. Calculate the variance. Calculate the variance of that distribution solution. You also calculate the variance of this distribution that is given to us four five seven and four i said the first step is find deviation find deviation how do you find deviation that is to say you first of all find your mean your mean value your mean value is four plus five plus seven plus four all over four this is 20 all over 4, and this is 5. That is our mean value. Our mean is 5. Then find deviation. Deviation is simply x minus the mean. x minus the mean, which is x stands for each of the value given to you. 4 take away 5 is minus 1. 5 take away 5 is 0. 7 take away 5 is 2. 4 take away 5 is minus 1. That is it. We have it now. So we have our deviation already to be minus one zero two minus one 
minus 1, 0, 2, minus 1. Looking for the modulus is not really too important because if you look for the square, you see have the positive value. But let us just do that anyway. Let's look for the modulus of these numbers. That will be 1, 0, 2, 1. Now, the next step I said, find the square, the square of the deviation. The next step, find the square of deviation. Step 2, find the square deviation. Find the square deviation. So our square deviation will be 1 square, which is minus 1 times minus 1. You can use this one if you want to use it. 1 square is 1 times 1, which is still 1. 0, 2 times 2 is 4, which is 2 square, and this is 1. So here's our square, our square division. Now, the, next, the third step, I said, find the sum of, this, of the square division. Number 3, find the sum, which is summation of that. That will be 1 plus 0 plus 4 plus 1. That will give us 6 as our answer. 6 is our answer. Then, the last step, I said, find... The variance, the variance itself, which is summation of d square over n, that will be 6 over 4, because there are 4 numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, so our n is 4, 6 over 4, so our variance is equal to that, which is 3 over 2, or 1.5, our variance is 3 over 2, or 1.5, can you see that, it's simple, Steps to take, find the deviation, find the square of a deviation, find the sum of the squared deviation, then find the variance. You get your answer simple. You get your answer simple. It's not difficult. It's not difficult. You do this one. Do the following. One, three, six, 10, 1. Find the variance. That is, find the variance. Find the variance. Find the variance of that distribution. 3, 6, 10, and 1. 3, 6, 10, and 1. Find the variance of the distribution. The first step I said, find deviation. Second step, find the square of the deviation. Third step, find the sum of the squared deviation. After that, the last step, find the variance. And variance is simply summation of the squared deviation over n. That is the formula for variance. Sigma d squared over n. So apply that using my example and find the variance of this distribution. I'll see you in the next class. Thank you.